Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to come on here to do a little cheap spring decor haul. I have some items from the Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot that I just wanted to share real quick. All of these are obviously super budget friendly items. Some of them might be a little hard to come by. I really had to search for them, but these are gonna be some really great options for super cheap spring and Easter decor ideas. If you are new to my channel, I make videos about home decor, DIY projects, and organization. So if you're into that type of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. And I'm going to start with some of the items I picked up from the Dollar Tree first. So first I'll just do a couple of Easter items. I have this sign here. It's not really particularly my style, but if you are subscribed to my channel, you saw that I did a round of Easter DIYs. So this is gonna be another one of those um, kind of DIY projects. I don't think I'm going to use the sign portion, but I saw that the bunny is like a separate piece and can be popped off. And I really liked the white glittery bunny on this. So I'll probably pop off that bunny and use it in another upcoming DIY project. And so this trip, the biggest thing that I found that I was very excited about were these carrots. I have been hunting high and low for these stupid little carrots. I've probably gone into four different dollar stores, maybe six different times, and just on the hunt for these, and finally when I went on one random afternoon, I saw them right before I almost walked out of the door, so I was like jumping for joy. I bought four packs of them. I'm sure you guys have seen other people haul these on YouTube. I am just very excited to have finally found them, and of course, I'm going to be using these in my next round of spring DIYs. There's so many different things you can use for these, so I'm really excited that I found them. Next, I got a couple of St. Patrick's Day items. I've never really decorated for St. Patrick's Day before, and I'm probably not going to this year just because it's kind of already late in the game and I don't really have the time. But I saw a few things that I was attracted to and was like, next year I can use these for some DIYs. So the first one is this door hanger here. Lots of glittery shamrocks on it just like i kind of did with my valentine's day and easter ones i'll probably end up cutting this up and reconstructing it into something new and then i also got these little foam shamrocks too initially my first thought for using these was to basically punch holes in them and do a diy little string banner like across for coffee station or something like that so again, I probably won't end up using these until next year. So I've definitely seen people haul books from the Dollar Tree before and find some really good ones. I always dig through the bookshelves when I go and never usually seem to find anything worthwhile. This time I lucked out. I actually am going on a beach vacation soon, so I was like, planning on stopping at like Books A Million or Half Price Books to try to pick up some trashy reading material for all the time I'm gonna be laying on the beach in this next week. So finding these at the Dollar Tree was definitely a jackpot for me right now. First two I picked up are just some basic period piece fiction, trashy romance type of novels. So this one is called Irresistible and this one is called Deceived. And then I also got this book called The Quick. And this book just looks like a, kind of like a Harry Potter knockoff that's like a period piece with some witchy magic elements in it. But again, right up my alley of what I like to read. And then the next book I grabbed is Mr. Darcy Swipes Left. This is probably completely awful and terrible, but Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite books of all times and my favorite, one of my favorite movies. I absolutely love Pride and Prejudice. So this is basically a retelling of Pride and Prejudice through text messages and internet conversations. So I thought maybe this could be a funny read. Again, I'm sure it's complete garbage, but for a buck, couldn't pass it up. I also grabbed this silicone 
face mask applicator here, which I was very excited to find. Whenever I do my face mask, I actually have like a craft paintbrush that I use to apply my face mask. So I think this will work a lot better for me. And then randomly, my store had a giant shopping cart full of coconut water that were all marked at 50 cents. So I grabbed two coconut waters here. I don't frequently drink coconut water, but sometimes I like them for mixed cocktails or when you're hungover, they're actually really good. So I thought those were a pretty good deal for 50 cents each. Hey guys, so I quickly just wanted to share the items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Some of these are things that I already shared in my spring decor haul that I posted recently. So I won't really talk about those too much, but I just wanted to kind of have them out here because they are part of this whole Easter spring aesthetic. So some of the newer items I've gotten since Easter stuff has officially been put out is this egg, which is a yard steak. They had quite a few different designs of this, but I thought this was the only one that was really somewhat attractive. I'm probably going to pull the steak off of this and use this for some sort of a DIY project. I got this Happy Easter sign. I don't like the bunny. Not really my style, but I did like the carrots with the glittery letters. So I will probably end up cutting the carrots off and using those in a separate DIY. I was very happy to find these eggs, so I just got a packet of these. A lot of the like decor had very pixelated images, and this one's no different. It probably doesn't show up very well on camera, but these eggs are definitely like pixelated clip art images. They're not very high quality, super hard to see, but it's definitely pixelated, the rabbit's blurry, like this just doesn't look very nice to me, but again, it's a dollar so I'm not going to complain, but I'm probably going to just use the back of this to do some sort of DIY sign. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the items I grabbed from the Target dollar spot. With this first wave that they brought out with this spring decor, it's very, I want to say like farmhouse bohemian and it is really not my style so I didn't grab a lot of the items but I thought there were a few things that really piqued my interest and some things that I thought were really useful for around the house and priced really well. So the first thing I got was this decor sign that says so fresh and so clean with a lemon. Before I found this and I saw somebody else haul it on YouTube I was like I have to find that I love it. I'm definitely into the lemons for this spring and summer, and I think they are going to be super trendy as well. But I also grabbed this microfiber cleaning cloth with some lemons on it as well. I almost grabbed some of the little ceramic display lemons and grapefruit and lime they had, and I was like, eh, it's too knick-knacky, I don't need it, da da da. And now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't grab any of them, but it's not the end of the world. Next, I have some of these cleaning spray bottles for three bucks. I thought these were a pretty good steal. They're glass, they're not plastic, so that's why I made sure I grabbed them. I actually think the lemon one I got first, and funny story, I was going to get a few more of them. They have different designs. I grabbed a couple more, but literally when I was at the basket, like, putting stuff into my car and looking in those dollar bins, this lady like came up behind me and literally grabbed all of it. Like every single one of these glass bottles before I had a chance to even grab another one just swooped in and took everything. So that first trip, I really didn't make out with a lot of goodies. So I had to wait and go back to a different Target at a later date, which is when I was able to grab these two cleaning bottles as well. This one has little bubbles on it and it says clean mode. And then this one is just this tinted brown. And then I also grabbed one of these buckets. This is like an off-white creamy color. This was $5, which I think it should have been three, but eh. And I just grabbed this because I wanted it to hold some of my cleaning supplies on the second floor so I don't have to run downstairs every time I need something. And then again with some St. Patrick's Day stuff here, and I wasn't even sure if I really wanted these, but there was literally only one left of each of these. And if you see something, you gotta grab it because people will snatch it all up. 
So I got one little shamrock here. These are all just little wood pieces and they were all a dollar. This is a little pot of gold. It says Luck of the Irish and has glitter up top. And then this one is my favorite. It's a little wood sign that says Happy St. Patrick's Day. Like I said, I am going on vacation soon. So I got a couple of vacation items to use. This one is like a wet bathing suit bag and I thought it was so cute. It says, talk to the palms and this was $3. So I'll probably use this to store all my sunscreen in, my tanning lotions and all that jazz for when I'm laying on the pool or the beach to keep everything in here and to keep it from um, getting all messy inside my bag. And then I just grabbed this baseball cap that was also $3. Obviously it's not super well made or anything and this will be good for the beach. So that completes my haul here. That's everything I have. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps out my channel. And if you like lifestyle type of videos, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.